my friends, welcome back to Star Trek New Horizons and to the Mirror Darkly. We're playing as United Earth and we're trying to form the Federation. In the last few episodes, I I was hoping the Nobler was over here, but I clearly made a big ass mistake. My ships are well, actually the uh, the Enterprise is in the Dolphinic Expanse, and I'm actually I think it might be returning quite early and quite soon, and that's going to be worrying. That's why we're building up ships. Because, well, they are not going to be friendly, I guess. And since I don't think the Vulcans are going to be working or helping us, uh, we'll just have to see. So the Expanse, here we go. While en route to the location of the Zindi weapon, the Enterprise has detected the wreckage of the Zindi vessel on the surface of a Class K world. In the uh, Ukarai system, the vessel appears to be of a Zindi insectoid design. Well, there's no signs of life of, um, there's no signs of active Zindi ships in the system. Captain Jonathan Archer debate if the crew on the best, debates with the crew on the best course of action. The first officer recommends continuing on to the weapon as initially scans suggest nothing of value survived, while the tactical officer suggests destroying the remains of the vessel prioritized to departure in order to deny the Zindi of any potential savages. Well, I'm thinking about going with the doctor's urges to investigate and confirm the insectoid survival as the disaster. So we're going to be investigating. And investigating the runes of the insectoid ships confirms that no technology of value survived whatever catastrophe occurred as the away team prepares to return to the Enterprise. Captain Jonathan Archer makes a startling discovery. A chamber filled with Zindi insectoid eggs, the majority of which remain intact. After several hours, the captain begins to exhibit strange behavior, um, diverting resources of the, uh, of the Enterprise to effort to restore the inside ship. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. Uh, the efforts of restoring the insectoid ship on the surface and um, obsessing over protecting the eggs. The ship's doctors believe that the captain has been affected by the phenomenon compound in the egg. So, let's see if we can find a cure. After several days, the medical team is able to create a synthetic compound which neutralizes the effect on the insectoid uh, pheromones. Wow, I can actually pronounce that. The restoration, uh, the and restores the captain to its normal self. The insectoid eggs begin to hatch, and Captain Jonathan Archer is forced to decide how to proceed, leaving the infant on the surface or adopting them aboard the ship. <laughs> Damn it. Um, let's adopt. And hopefully it did not blow us up. Hopefully it's going to be like, Oh, you saved our little hatchlings. We are so happy with that. Thank you. Um, were we also constructing? No, we are also constructing another cruiser. And I want to save up. So we can mail bake another colonization ship. Uh, pirates encountered where? I don't know. Well, it's fine. As long as they're not in my system, why not? The Tellarites are in my system. That's sure fine enough. This is all continuing. Mm. The expense. The Enterprise arrives at the... Azeti system almost immediately beginning to fire upon by many Zini warship patrolling the areas. The attacks is soon halted though, as a squadron of Zindi primates and Zindi Abra ships form a protective escort around the Enterprise. Intense bursts of communication are detected between various Zindi vessels. Until the last of um, until at last a shuttle docks on the Enterprise and the Zindi Primate Security Detachment offers to escort Captain John Van Archer to the Zindi Council Chambers to present his case in person. Captain John Van Archer presents his evidence to the Zindi Council, proving Earth's innocence. 
Cindy fears that Earth would seek to destroy their species and shown to be uh, the fabrication of the transdimensional being who themselves has created the subspace instabilities in the Delphonic Expanse to allow the region to become a habitable to their kind. Okay. The primate and the abreal representatives are convinced and the aquatic demanding more time to consider their response. However, the reptilians and insectoids are enraged by this. Seizing control of the weapons, the reptilians and insectoids launch the device on a direct course of Earth while the Enterprise races. Why not? We, we have we have these tiny, 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 tiny eggs. Uh, returning to the Delphonic Expanse, information has been gathered. Okay. We got the Annex project. Uh, we got the new long range exploration vessel. So let's take a quick look. That one is done. Mm, we could go with Tyrarium Mole, um, she'll generate this, or go with Strike Crafts. I would like to go with Strike Crafts, um, because we should now, there we go, be able to make our exploration ship. Although this is still the grappler, is it, are you going to be an exploration ship? I don't know. Nothing changed over there. Um, is there something we'd like to add in here now? And I don't think so. Uh, we have not met anyone that would attack us on site. This is all good. Don't need to change that. You are all good. Let's see if there's anything upgradable. No. How about you? No. No other slots. So the NX Class Explorer. So once we get the... Uh, the shovel, that's why I wanted it. We can actually start adding them in here. Uh, annex class. And these are your hulls, which is great. Let's see what we want to do with you. Armor hit points. Um, I'll go with the hardening fields. Warp speed. Chance to evade. Um, tracking... I guess I want to go with the science station. And I would like to get the regen. I don't need the combat disengagement. So let's go with the command center. Oh, uh, level two. Polarizing holes. Oh, there we go. Um, we can choose between combat disengagement chance or more points. And there lies my problem. Every time I can get my ship over its power limits. And we not even added that. So we could go with a nuclear reactor. Adding more than enough. But we are still not using shields. And I'm not happy about that. Because I think most of my ships now use shields, right? Do I not have shields yet? Oh man. It's going to be even worse. So the nuclear reactor is unfortunately something I cannot do without. So let's save the NX class. And we immediately go here. So um, that ship isn't done, which is quite unfortunately... Uh, that's a bit of a shame. So you're going over there. Hopefully you will survive. Uh, we should be getting help. So convinced that the attack on Earth is just a pair of Zindi primates and uh, Aral vessels enter the system. Broadcasting their intent to help this. Oh wow. They are going to be helping us. That's one ship. Well thank you I guess. Where is the Enterprise? So the Expand, there we go. We got the Endorians going in. And where is the Enterprise? I would really like it. Oh, why is there no movement? Attack. What the hell is going on? 
Yeah, we need to start shooting that thing down because that is going to be a problem. Everyone is now going to be fighting. There is still no shields, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, luckily for us, they do not have shields themselves. A uh, new one, Administrative. So, that's cool. Advanced Water Purifier, Important Eyes, Diplomatic or Slavery. And this will bring our Specialization Technology, so let's go with that. And it doesn't look good for us. Let me be all honest. Uh, it doesn't look good for us. Where is the Enterprise? Oh my. They bailed out. They're almost gone. Um, and we're getting through to armor. But I'm worried about this a lot. I'll be very honest with you. There you go. The NX class flagship. You're on aggressive. Finally. There you go. He is on its way. Uh, assisting research. Research anomaly. Aggressive. I like the aggressive stance. So he will be attacking. He will be getting into there. Shall we go and lock a camera on him? Speed up until we're there. Zoom out a bit. So let's see how he will re... Oh, I think it's already over. Uh, shipboard activity. Let's proceed. Let's research. And let's hook up on you some more and our fleets are definitely not in a good shape we lost almost everything uh faction have found it been founded they are not really appreciated let's zoom this a bit down i'm very sorry for that so let's make sure we get there Emergency FTL inhibited. Oh boy. Go, he is all right. And let's get into a good position so we can actually see what the hell is going on. I'm not sure what they are shooting over here, but I think they are going to be the tiny ships. Not much movement. Not liking that. Well, enough play for now. Let's just uh, make sure that all... Oh, I started the recording. I don't I don't want that. Oof. I don't need to record two things in a row. Let's increase the uh, sound again. Otherwise, I will forget like last time. So we're here fighting. It's going to be extremely close. And I'm not enjoying that at all. And I did my best. I, I did my best to uh, make sure that we get more ships. <sighs> what can we do? They need to die. Come on, mate. They're being repaired, which is good for them, but not what I want. Look at all of that. That whole point is going to be insane, and we're almost there. Actually, he's not focusing on the Earth this time provide more um, so linguist just translator yeah that was the only thing that we could search habitability regional capital I like the regional capital so let's make it so how is this going oh the hull points aren't as much as last time and uh, look it isn't going towards earth it is actually in fight with the uh, the Enterprise, which is doing an amazing job at uh, shooting this contraption down. And we still have those uh, spiders. Uh-oh. My friends, the... Oh, wow. That felt almost like the game crushing on me. This indie weapon has been destroyed. The efforts of Starfleet cannot be overstated. A devastation by the loss of the weapon and their fleet. The Zindi reptil uh, reptilians and the insectoids have accepted the ultimatum providing them uh, provided to them by remaining in the species for defying by them remaining in the species for defying the will of the council wow 
accepting the, the their manipulation into targeting the earth the primates uh, the aboriginals and the aquatics have promised to uphold peace between the two powers well powers huh well here we go um the gratitude of course from the um andorian people thank you very much for helping us out mate we couldn't have done it without you my fleet has been devastated and uh, let's make sure that we go and repair do as much as possible and now we can actually start sending you once you are where you want it to be to go and research the defense pod is there mm, let's go with the operations ship design There you go, NX class, there you go, so only 408, it used to be over a thousand, that was incredible. So what do we want to do with our ships? Now, I'm thinking once we get more naval capacity, we want to make sure that we get at least another fleet. One that's actually for fighting and the other one is going to be for pirate suppression. Considering the lowest or the smallest ship is best for pirate uh, suppression so the zinni crisis has concluded the future of the current and the humans population on the world i don't know must be resolved We're going to be doing this. Create an outpost. We have received transmission by the North Star Confederacy. Uh, we greet you. Which is great. So you're over there. This is in the... As well as the Azarti station. Cool. Now we want to be saving up. Because... I want to make sure that we can colonize a few more... Planets and... Claim a few systems. We are making a bit of influence. So, how is this challenge going? your preconceptions or they will challenge you. What on earth has happened? I know that I'm not using the, the, the right version, request. but come on. It looks rather weird. Not sure why. So, acceptance is at negative 23. The relative power is a bit of a problem in their eyes. I can't change that. Uh, the Zindi... The war can be avoided this time. They don't like the Tellarite Federation. So first things, we'll be focusing on the Vulcans. That also means that we need to improve our fleet. And by improving our fleet, that also means that we need to increase. This is all scaled up. Why is this? It's... A lot larger than it used to be. Is this done on purpose? I'm not sure. It's confusing me. Um, the alien probe above mouth 5 appears to be activated as the ship sensors sweep over it. A surge of um, nucleonic particles has detected moments before a nuclear beam penetrates USS Franklin's hull. The beam is aimed at the captain, Ulf Johnson. Or Wolf. And after a moment of dizziness falls to the ground. So, can we shield up? We know we're, we're, what it's all about. Um, let's reverse shields. Reverse the thrusters. And we need to hold position. And continue to monitor the captain. And there we go. We got ourselves a float. Uh, we can activate it over here. Uh, I really don't see any point in doing so. So yeah. Let us continue on its way. Everyone is going to be repaired. We are going to be needing so much alloys. It's insane. Uh, we have three available jobs by the looks of things. Which is not good. None over here. Can we do a decision? No. Man, my alloy production is to cry about. Uh, we got a new alien race by the looks of things. 
So let's make sure that is done. This is only a month and this is only a month. So all of these should be now researching. So let's research the anomaly. Uh oh. The Ferengi Alliance. Uh, city districts polarizing the hull. Force fields. Let's do that. Polarizing the hull will eventually lead towards us gaining, well, shields, hopefully. That would be nice. Do we want to go towards the uh, Andorians? We could take this. They like us, Our so the likelihood the diplomacy has failed. of is them... Correct? Could you shut it, please? Yeah, the likelihood of them attacking us isn't too bad. Oh, here we go. Thank you. This is what I actually needed a lot. Let's make an alloy foundry. And we'll worry about the other things later. We have enough houses, we have enough of that, but we desperately need a lot of alloys. Um, there's an object in space. Activate the beam. And we got shields! Yes! Let's make sure we get that on of all of our ships. Object in space. The Tachyon Burst successfully reveals an object. It appears to be a similar function of the human probe. Which is cool. Um, I like this one. So we're going to be doing this one. Because it increases the surveying speed. Okay, that is all going well. Monthly unity plus 5%. And let's go to ship design. No, no, it's in here. Let's save. How about you? Does this save us on power? I don't think so. No. Oh boy, no. So you got shields now. And you, oh, it's a good, it, without this, there is no way, no way that you can keep this ship afloat. I can just press like this. Ah, uh, no. Because it changed something over here. Oh, wow. Yes, that's way better. Let's do it. We can probably do that at the NX class. Or once we get the flagship. I think that is the flagship though. Anything over here that changed? No. So, shields. Save. Yes. And let's unpause. Meaning we can upgrade all of our ships again. 16 isn't too much. Uh, here we go. We got the uh, Zindi um, insectoid infants. That the Enterprise recovered from the wreckage of the vessel. In the, uh, in the Ugranai system. And they have grown into adulthood. Oh my. Quickly full embracing the human's call. Oh wow. The Zindi Council has expressed no desire in the young adults. Um, let us... Settle them on Earth. This is not good. The people are entitled to their opinions, however vile. Ah, uh, it's expensive, but I'm going to do it. It will not be tolerated. And the reason is, if I go to population, can we now make... Yeah, we can make Cindy. Oh my, they don't like to be here. Um, let's go to species. The Cindy are... We want to get you to a different planet. And perhaps... Let's go here. Can we resettle? You are not owning planets that can send or receive population. Oh my. How can we do that? Um, the Soren League cool it might be here in 
policies. Let's resettle. And we'll go to our Zindi. This one, I think, is better suited. The Zindi Insectoid is on 60, which is not too bad, actually. Huh, it is not doing too badly over here. They are just 4% of the population. And he's over here, having an habitability of 60. Okay, well guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section what I should do next. I will be definitely focusing on alloys, rebuilding our fleet. And then it's going to be time, because there's the Badlands, and you know what that means. That means we are about to meet the Cardassians. And we need to be forming this federation like yesterday. It's going to be a, it's going to take us a lot of work to do that. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.